Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars, the 2017 Porsche 911 Turbo Cab. Isn't it beautiful? Silver, black interior, Bordeaux red seats. Turbo S, excuse me, I forgot the S. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located just down the street from all the shiny lights on the strip. You come here on vacation, you wanna maybe go home with a new ride, come by and see us. And if you just wanna see some fancy cars, come on by. I do this for every single automobile that comes in here, ladies and gentlemen. We go over it uh, body panel by body panel and uh, make sure that you're gonna be nice and comfy when this uh, shows up at your door, hopefully. And, uh, but thanks for stopping by and checking us out. Um, Folks, I don't have a whole lot to report on this car. It's a 2017. It has uh, just a hair over 31,000 miles on the odometer. The headlights are beautiful. The windshield's all in good shape. Uh, the, the, it's, it's, it, there's no major damage anywhere. Uh, just normal wear with uh, you know 31,000 and change on the odometer. You're going to get a little bit of stuff. So that's why I'm here to show you what's going on. There's a couple small rock chips. Uh, extremely small rock chips in the windshield that you don't need to address. They're there, they're really small. Um, you do not need to fix the windshield. Uh, down here up front, we just have a couple small, normal road wear blemishes across the front of the car. They're extremely small to see, uh, hard to see, especially with uh, you know the silver paint. But we are inside here at Celebrity Cars. We kind of pride ourselves on our skylights and our fancy lights that we had installed in here so you can just about see every detail. Now, um, let's define scratches and normal curb rash. Or, I'm sorry, scratches and, uh, and normal wear. Come on down here, Quincy. Uh, this is normal wear, folks. There's the little itty bitty mark there. There's the little itty bitty mark there. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, clear. Ooh, let me see this. That's just a clear bra that if you can see that going through there, there's a clear bra down across the front here. Over here, there's a real small mark. And these two could just be goo. There's a real small mark there. You get what I'm saying, folks? So this is the detail that we put into these automobiles. And you know, like I said, there's no major damage on this car. There's no major curb rash. There's no, no great big. Regardless of all these little itty bitty normal road wears up here, I'd like to be clear that this entire front bonnet and the hood is clear broad. Okay. So there's another little mark right there. There's another little couple little normal road wears here and there. There's one there. A little squiggly line in the uh, clear bra right there. And over here, I'm going to point out this one, this one, this one, and this one. Now, the reason why I point them out, yep, this has got clear bra all the way across the top. I can't tell if these are just little black things stuck in the clear bra or it's through it. Regardless, you can barely see them, especially on a nice sunny day outside. But... I'm just telling you that they're there. This is the kind of coverage that you get from us. Okay, headlight, little to nowhere, great shape. I'm gonna work my way down the driver. Down here in the bottom, I've got a little bit of, uh, I presume this was scraped just a little bit and the clear bra's coming apart down here. Yeah, this was scraped right here, but looking all the way across the front, boy, it's. Uh, it's nice and clear of any scratches, but there's just a small abrasion from going into a driveway right here. Nobody hit anything. Nobody went, uh, you know, nobody was jumping bridges or anything, so we're in good shape. Okay, uh, the front wheel, no curb rash whatsoever. Beautiful black, beautiful yellow calipers. The barrels are somewhat clean, and you can tell that they could get a lot shinier and nicer. Um, I'm also seeing You know what, folks? This whole car's clear broad, I think. This fender's clear broad, this door's clear broad. Wow. Okay, see, we find this stuff out together, ladies and gentlemen. This, it sounds like this whole car is, uh, okay, that's not true because here's the door. Yeah, okay, this is clear broad. Sorry, I watch your fingers. This is not clear broad. 
No. So this is not, but this patch down here is. This is just about on every Porsche down here, so everybody knows about that one. But no, this is not clear broad, and I don't see any. Ooh, a little bit of water drip down here. Um, nothing. No signs of anything. This black insert here is beautiful shape. No dings, no curb rash, beautiful everything again. No dings here. Tires seem to be in good shape. Is this back bumper clear, Rod? I don't think so. This, this portion is not as well clear, Rod. Rear tail lights, what I see so far, are beautiful. It looks like nobody's backed into anything back here on this corner. I see no signs of wear whatsoever. This is all beautiful back here. Beautiful chrome letters. It was just washed a couple of minutes ago, so we might see a couple of drips here and there. No, I'll just check the clear box. Oh, okay. All this is gorgeous, folks. All around the license plate, no cracks, no splits, no nothing. Ooh, let's go up on this rear. Itty bitty mark right there. Just normal stuff. No little drip right there. All this is beautiful. No marks, no dings, no dents. Okay, working our way up the passenger side. All this is beautiful back here. Nobody backed in anything over here on this side. Everything's real nice. No, but this is the number one curb rash wheel and there's no curb rash. Caliper, barrel, great. No dings along here. You get back to your clear bra, little wrap right here, little protectant. There's barely any wear in that too, folks, by the way. Uh, actually, you know, until I curb my, there's just a little bit of wear down here. This is just normal road wear. This is all great. Then we're back to clear bra, the door. No marks whatsoever getting in and out of the car. It's beautiful. All of this is real nice, folks. Wow, this is, and your front passenger side wheel and we have no car brash again. Well taken care of automobile. Okay. Clear bra's coming undone right here just a little bit, and there is a small mark in the clear bra right here. Got that? Sweet. Oh, and there's a little mark right here too. This is clear bra, so, but there's a little mark right there. Okay, up to the windshield. The windshield, I just have a couple little pock marks, folks. It's not, it's not a pepper. This is just normal stuff. There are little itty bitty ones here and there. This is all extremely normal to a windshield on an automobile with 30,000 miles on it. Do any, does, does any of this need to be replaced or anything like that? Absolutely not. He's just ready to go and have some fun. Well, Bordeaux red, folks. You wonder what the color of Bordeaux looked like. Here you go. Oh, I've got the remote in my pocket, so the car's talking to me there a little bit. The back seats look great. No rips, holes. Doesn't look like anybody ever sat back there. No marks. Passenger seat looks exactly the same. And the driver's seat looks absolutely outstanding. Oh, I've been locking it. That's the problem. I always uh, focus on this bolster. You know, how careful were people getting in and out of the car? And uh, there is little to no wear here. Uh, nothing's coming, getting ready to come apart or anything. The seats are in great shape. Perforations look good. Climbing in and out of the car over here. I'm gonna say there is a couple marks of getting in and out of the car over here on this leather. Uh, this is just normal pant leg shoes. Um, it's, it's really minor, but it's there. Just wanted to tell you about it. This door seems to be in perfect shape. All this black leather, not a whole bunch of arms a bit on it. The red stitching is really sharp. But this seat's in great shape. Door jam's in great shape. Carpets look great. Dash looks great. And center console, I'd like to always spend a couple minutes on because, you know, people put stuff down, they spill it on here. 
Um, they lay their keys down on it, scratches it all up, and boy, this looks wonderful. Carbon fiber all around is super sharp. Got a set of books in here. That should be in there, it's good. The odometer shows 31,179. And it's, it's beautiful in here, all ready to go, smells good. I'm in good shape. Okay, let's, uh, that's the park brake. This gets it into the front, this gets it into the back. Probably not a whole lot to see there. Got your six cylinder underneath all this stuff back here. Top of the convertible looks awesome here as well. Everything in here looks real nice. Just needs a little extra dusting and cleaning. But other than that, it's in great shape. Okay, I'm gonna close this back up. Okay, and we pop the hood. So let's look at that. Super nice and clean. Looks like it's uh, barely if ever been used. Plastic's not all banged up. We're in good shape. Okay, uh, Quincy, I'm gonna hop in, start it up and put the convertible top up so everybody knows that it operates and does all the things it's supposed to do. And then we'll get out and take a quick look at the convertible top. So all the windows go up. Oh, they just got washed, so they're all wet. <laughs> oh, well. Lights. Okay. Convertible top. It's beautiful. No bird poop. A couple little extra, just a little watermarks maybe from when it was washed or cleaned, but uh, nothing. This is in beautiful shape. No stitching problems. It's beautiful. Folks, I, I, I'm sorry I don't have a whole lot more to say about this very pretty car. I mean, it's just really super pretty. It's all ready to go. But we're going to go for a quick ride in a couple of minutes and take it around the building, maybe around the block, and make sure it breaks, make sure there's not any weird vibrations, uh, make sure it doesn't stall, blah, blah, blah. You know all these things. That's not going to happen. But full report in just a minute. Okay, folks, 2017 Porsche Turbo S Silver. Bordeaux red interior. We're cruising slowly out of the showroom. And I'm realizing that I've got myself in a small rocket ship. Right, Jared? <laughs> okay. So, uh, folks, here we are. I didn't put my seatbelt on yet. We just cruised out of the showroom here real quick. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on now. And I think I'm gonna put the top up, because that just makes sense. It's extra windy today, it's cloudy. Put it in park. Let's see, do I have to have it? Uh... No, I don't. I don't have to have the car in park in order to make the top go up, so that's good. Windows up. Awesome. Air conditioner's on, 72 degrees. Very nice. Display's beautiful. The gauges all over the dash are just everything. Please, PSI, water temp. This temperature, oil pressure. Got all the things. It's very nice. Okay. Move my seat forward just a little bit. Power seat's doing everything it's supposed to do. Two hands on the wheel. It's automatic. I'm not playing with any paddles today. I'm just gonna go.
Okay, going to be about 45 miles an hour. I'm going to hit the brakes real good here. Three, two, and one. Wow. Okay. As expected, I mean, this is kind of sort of still a brand new used car, if, it, if I say it that way. Kind of doesn't make any sense, but you get my point, folks. 31,000 just over on the odometer, and uh, I can tell this car wants to go really fast. Speed bump number two. Not a rattle, not a crack, not a nothing. Right turn signal's on. I'm gonna wait for a little bit of traffic to go and then we're gonna catch up to him. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, on the gas. Ladies and gentlemen, the power that comes out of this little car is incredible. I just, I like quarter gas pedaled it. And it just pulls and it starts to go bzzz. <laughs> Super cool. Oh, I hope I wasn't messing up the microphone just now. Oh yeah, and the brakes are very, very touchy. Whoa, not used to that either. We're just gonna do a little hard left turn here in the cul-de-sac. Sure, we don't hear any weird clunks. Nope. Very nice. Very responsive. Boy, you get a lot of trouble in a car like this. Turn signals back on. Left turn. Okay, by my way. Here we go. Yeah, in insanely fast. Okay. That's enough of that. Enough turn signals back on. We're going to head back to the showroom, folks. Uh, hey, 702-818-1031. Give us a call. This is a great machine to have. And it's in perfect working order. There you have it. Spent a lot of my time uh, doing a lot of babbling here with little almost brand new sports cars like this. And sorry about that, but I'm here to tell you this is really something. There you have it. Folks, we're pulling back up to the back of the showroom right now. Like I told you, 702-818-1031. If you found this video first, hop online on the internet and go to celebritycars.com. You'll see about 80 plus photographs of uh, all the things that I just went over. If you have any questions, give us a ring.